Okay, let us do this problem. This is a quite easy problem. You can do this one. So you have to write down the product for this reaction. The condition that is given to you that is SN2. That you have to remember that is the condition is SN2. So now you see in case of SN2 inversion takes place. So in this reaction, inversion will take place. Now you see, so you have a chiral carbon, so this carbon is chiral. What will happen? OH will attack and Br will leave. If I attach from the same side, this will be retention. But condition is given that is SN2, so I have to attach from the back side. So it will be inversion. So this means I have to change the configuration. If I add OH here, so let us say, if I add OH simply if I replace Br and I add OH, this is ET, this is CH3, this is H and this is called retention. So this is retention because I have not changed the configuration of carbon. So I am simply removing bromine and adding uh, uh, OH. So this is retention of configuration. But in this case I have to inverse the configuration so this means I have to add OH from this side. OH, H and this side I will have ET and this side I will have CH3 group. So this will be the final product for this reaction that is the SN2 with inversion. Now let us write product for this reaction. This is again easy reaction. Everybody knows. So you have an alkyne, you have H2 linder catalyst. Yeah, you are right. So basically in this case you will have cis product. We have already discussed in the class. In case of linder catalyst product is cis. In case of sodium in liquid ammonia product is trans. So you have a cis alkene. So C double bond C this side you will have R. This side you will have R and two hydrogen will be added from the same side. So final product will be a cis product. So this is a cis product. Are you getting that is important point we have here. Let us discuss the next few problems.